In the Ukraine, a young American conductor is on a mission of music. David Ensor explains. 34-year-old Hobart Earl is far from home. He is the first American to be the resident conductor of an orchestra in the former Soviet Union, the Odessa Philharmonic. He is not in it for the money. The entire payroll of Ukraine's finest orchestra is less than the equivalent of $34,000 per year, not enough to hire one second violinist in New York. I fell in love with the orchestra at first sight. They fell in love with me. It was mutual. The whole relationship has grown from there. Despite talented musicians, it is hard going. Many of the instruments are so bad that an average American high school would throw them out. The cellos rehearse in my hotel room because we don't have enough space for them, unfortunately, to rehearse in the hall. The double basses rehearse in the corridor. There's two rooms where the violin sections can rehearse, and I take sectional wind, woodwind, or sectional brass rehearsals on stage. Odessa has deep musical roots. Yasha Heifetz was born here. Isaac Stern studied here. It isn't easy to explain, says the first violinist, but there is a quality about Odessa, sadness or desire, that makes music more beautiful. Like the rest of Ukraine, Odessa is living through hard times. That perhaps makes people appreciate their orchestra and its young conductor all the more. David Ensor, ABC News.